in Minecraft, many people suffer from a lack of frames per second, and mainly it decreases gameplay. So there are a few simple ways to increase your FPS. The way which most people know of is the mod Optifine, which is quite simple, made by SP614X. And the best one is the Optifine HD Ultra. And you want the newest version of this, which is D2. So you click download here, and then you just follow its steps through the AdFly thing, and so on. But there are also two other mods which increase frames per second. The next one is Fish Tacos mod, mods made by Fish Taco 567. And this is called FPS. And as he says here, it increases your frames per second by messing with Minecraft's co and sign functions. So click the download here. And the last mod is called Item Frame Lag Fix. And basically, all this does is change how items render on frames. And I'll go into more detail in all of these mods later on. So you want to download this one here. And also, you want to download a texture pack with not many colours, so the game doesn't have to load lots of separate colours, which is longer. So you could do one like Simple Craft. And you also want one that's you know smaller pixels, so 16 by 16 rather than say 64 by 64, for example. So you can download Simple Craft in this link here, and I'll put all the links to all of these in the description. But also, I think this is the most important one to get: is to update your Minecraft lightweight Java game library. It's basically the operating system for Minecraft, and Minecraft. They, this only gets updated when Minecraft gets updated, but there are updates out all the time. For example, here there is 2.4.2 is on current Minecraft 1.5.2, and there's already a 2.9.0 out, which is much better. And you download that using this link here. First, you want to get to your Minecraft dot Minecraft, and you put the texture pack in the text pack folder so just drag it across to move it into there so you can load it in minecraft and then the lwjgl is slightly more complicated to install you go into your bin and then you go into jar here and you copy across the j input the lw the LWJGL and the LWJGL util and you copy them into your bin and yes you want to copy and replace and then you go to the natives and windows if you're on a windows computer and you go into the natives here and you just copy across all of these and yes, copy and replace. And there you've updated your LWJGL. Sorry, I just keep getting confused because it's a bit of a mouthful. And that it basically is what Minecraft uses for graphic, sound, and input. So it should be much quicker. To install these mods, you have to go to your Minecraft bin and the Minecraft jar file. You need to open with an archiver such as WinRAR, Archiver, or WinZip or 7-Zip and you have to make sure to delete the two Mojang files in the MetaInf which I've already done so just leave the manifest one so basically the Mojang ones they just check to see if Minecraft's been modded or not so you have to delete them for mods so then you open up the uh, three mods Optifine, Item Frame Lag Fix mod and FPS++ and just do control A for Optifine and drag it into your jar file like so then do it for FPS++ plus plus mod and finally for item frame lag mod or frame lag fix just like that and then you can close 
all of these. So when you load up Minecraft, you will have these three mods installed and I'll give you a quick demonstration on how to maximize their usage. So single player, load up new world. Okay, oh and here's the emo FPS. Okay, and now here I'll show you. You have to get bit to use get your new text pack, go to text packs and simple craft by random Mac. Done. As you can see here, there are a lot less colours involved in the blocks. I don't think he's updated the emerald yet, because that seems to me to be the same. But anyway, you can see how the dirt is considerably less detailed. And here you can see all of these more basic, so less colours needed to be loaded. And to use Optifine, go into video settings, then if your computer's quite slow, you can turn your render distance all the way down to tiny and very customizable. You and to get the best out of your computer, you want performance max frames per second, and you want render distance to be here as tiny if your computer is very slow. And also about Optifine, it tells you what makes the game faster and slower. So here it says tiny, fast, disk, short, faster, and so on. You want your graphics down to fast, and your smooth lighting on off, and your smooth lighting level down to zero, your fog off, server textures off, quality, you want all of these off, details, you want all of these off or on fast, and de uh, it does not want animations, you want all off, and performance, all of these off, and other you want weather off, and everything off, and auto save 30 minutes. And that should do the most to change your frames per second, hopefully, to increase it. Optifine, out of all of this, impacts it the most. Quite basically, what the item frame lag fix does is it changes the rendering system so frames further away it won't render what's actually displayed in the frame um, which is quite useful because you don't really need to display what's further away in the frame because you're too far away to really see it anyway and that went especially when you have loads of frames lined up so if you're on a server and they got some shop function or display function and that will really help reduce lag and increase your frames per second keep minecraft open and because you need it for this next step and on your task manager you can go to start task manager and basically any of these processes you want to exit so your computer has more operating memory to run on because the more RAM you have the faster it will go because it's got more processing power and to maximize it you can go java tm platform se binary which is what minecraft runs off oh no don't land progress sorry my bad there you want to go properties no you don't want to go properties golly you want to do set priority and you want to click high so that minecraft has the highest priority of your cpu sorry for messing up there however i think you have to do this every single time you load up minecraft which i find is quite annoying because if you exit it it's windows and it sets it back to normal and while we're on the topic of increasing our CPU, we can exit that now. You want to also, if you have any virus software, you want to disable that. So I could do with my advanced one, disable until computer is restarted, for example. And then you just click yes. And also, no, not that, in your graphics display settings. So I have an NVIDIA graphics card to increase. Minecraft one, you do select program customize Minecraft and then you want it to use your high performance whatever process you have, so mainly NVIDIA, as opposed to your integrated graphics if you have any like Intel integrated because the NVIDIA processor is much better and that will increase it your frames per second slightly. The last way to increase your frames per second is to increase your RAM 
although not your physical memory, but mainly small virtual memory in terms of using Windows Regiboost, which is an application that you can use on all Windows computers to basically speed up your computer. And all you need is an empty mass storage device, so an SD card or a USB stick. Um, I've already got Regiboost set up on these two USB sticks, and so I'll just show you how to set up using this SD card. So you click properties, ready boost, and then dedicate this device to ready boost and apply. And then here you have it. This device now runs ready boost. And if you're having problems with this, just format your storage device just to clear every bit last bit of memory off it before you do ready boost.